not even taking time out to ask, is this really going to benefit me long term? You see, your flesh tells you he's the right person, not because of who he is, but because of what you see. Your flesh can only comprehend the right now, not the later on, so you rush to happy, not even realizing that happy is really sad. Like a lion that sits among the sheep concealed by the nappy white surface that covers his mane. You see, the devil is that lion. Well, he said he will roam to and fro and around the world and back again. But the devil doesn't look like a lion among the sheep. He takes on the character of the meek. He looks up at you with loving eyes. He emits gentle buzz from his mouth. He makes you feel so sweet. He's got to be the one. If only you had waited on God, you would have had your Boaz. But instead, because of rushing to happen, you end up sad. And instead of praising God for what you could have had, you end up blaming God for not giving you what you feel you should have had. See, there's only one way to get your boy. Listen to the voice of God. Follow no other. Listen when he tells you to stop. Turn in. Run back home to your mother. You see, what God has for you cannot compare with anything that you may see. What God has for you will blow you away and cause you to cry in disbelief. Why? Because when your boy shows up, you'll know it. Your spirit will rise up as God turns your head in his direction and you begin to size up the mighty man of God. You go to God and say, Lord, it can't be him, I'm not worthy. But then you hear God say, yes, my child, that's him. Excitement sets in because this is the one you've been waiting for, the one your heart's been craving for, the one your abstinence you've been saving for, the one your mind's been raving for. You see, your Boaz will open every door for you, pray daily blessings over you, cook romantic dinners and breakfast in bed for you, tell us friends that can't go out tonight because of the love he has for you, run to the store in the middle of the night for aspirin soup for you when you're not feeling well, he surprise you with flowers when he comes home and puts them in water for you, takes care of dinner when you go out and pulls your chair out for you, bends over after church and takes your shoes off for you.